about four and a half years ago, we were uh, working at an orphanage in uh, Uganda, Central Africa. Um, we have four adopted daughters, so orphan care and anything with orphans and, and is important to us. And so we were working in one of the slums and uh, I just broke down one day and, and I decided that we needed to do something. So we decided that we'd start a chocolate company. So this is a cacao pod. This is where the beans grow in. They grow in a tree. It takes about four to five months from a flower bud to a finished pod. And in this particular pod, there's about 20 beans. Once these are ready, they'll crack these open with a machete. And uh, what they're looking for is, is these. These are cacao beans. Uh, each bean weighs, like I said, about a gram, and so it takes about 450 to create a pound of chocolate. We take a portion of our, of our profits and we pour it back into the places that we source chocolate from around the world. At this point, we've sourced chocolate from about 12 countries. That direct sourcing, so relationships and trips, we've done four of those, um, and the goal is to do a couple per year. Um, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of time out of the shop to, to go and build relationships with, with cacao farmers, and so we try to get three of those a year. So we're gonna sort through here, make sure we don't have anything that could hurt our machines. There's a piece of plastic in there that needs to come out. So we're, we're kind of doing a manual inspection. This is from northern, northern Uganda. We'll weigh out a 20 pound batch and then this is gonna, once we've weighed it, we'll move over and we'll start to roast. Roasting again is what helps us bring out the flavors. It kind of, if you think about it, it kind of elevates all the flavors so we get the best flavor we can possibly get from the bean. There is a ton of diversity in chocolate. So chocolate grows from three different plants. Each one has a little unique flavor, uh, depending on where its origin's from. And you can pick up 85 distinct flavors in cacao, depending on where you're sourcing chocolate from. This tub is actually made of a granite base, about four inches thick. The two granite rollers basically grind and shear the, the, the cocoa nib, and that turns into chocolate. Um, we do that for about 24 hours to get it really refined where your tongue can't detect that there's any solids left and then we'll add our sugars and our other ingredients to, to make the finished chocolate. On an average batch of chocolate, these wheels travel 84 miles. So this is a pretty long, slow process, but it's one of the reasons why chocolate tastes really good. We've got a mission that's very different than most people. So kind of back to the beginning of the story, we were working in an orphanage uh, in the middle of Central Africa. It's near and dear to my heart. And so, you know, we don't wanna just make money. We wanna like make a difference with what we do. And so while the chocolate's important, it's even more important for us to, to give back and to pay it for. And so every time someone buys a Kaya chocolate bar, they're, they're involved in that process of, of making a difference, not just in our community here is supporting Kaya, but also supporting our farmers and those communities that we're sourcing from.